You are getting what you want when it comes to your manifestations. I'm going to tell you exactly how I know this. Because creation is finished. Creation is done. Creation is complete. What does this mean? This means that everything that could possibly exist, exists. Everyone has different ways of explaining this. I like to see it as, so some people say like in the quantum field there's all these different possibilities and then when you observe them and put your awareness on them, that wave, this is the scientific part, collapses, crystallizes. So basically, persists in your assumption and it will harden into fact. Okay, so I like to see it like little bubbles and each bubble, infinite, each bubble represents a different reality and in that bubble is a version of you, a version of your SP if you manifest an SP, a whole different reality. And there's infinite versions. There's a version of you that is a doctor. There's a version of you that's got 10 kids. There's a version of you that is a millionaire. There's a version of you that works in New York. There's a version of you that lives in Ireland. There's a version of you that lives in South Africa. There's a version of you that's got three dogs. There's a version of you that's got one dog. There's a version of you that can't eat pizza. There's a version of you that's allergic to cheese. There's a version of... You get the point, okay? There's infinite versions. of So what you are doing is deciding who you want to be, what you want, changing your self-concept to match with that reality. So the version of you that knows you're loved, wanted, in a relationship with your des des desired person, specific person, whoever, whatever, that version of you, you are thinking as her, you are thinking as him. And as you do that, you're putting your awareness on that reality. Let me explain, rephrase that. You are becoming, I can't speak, becoming consciously aware of being the you that's in that reality okay so you are basically selecting a reality where you have what you want and you are what you want to be and you are persisting in the assumption that this is who you are now no matter what's going on out here because you know what's going on out here right now is just a reflection it's just a manifestation of you who you used to be and that's not who you want to be anymore so if that's not who you want to be anymore why are we reacting to this reality still you get to decide what you want to experience. So pick a bubble, any bubble out of all the infinite bubbles. So you like, I want to pick that bubble where I am treated like a goddess. My SP is deeply in love with me. We're in a beautiful, loving, committed relationship. I've got this dream job where I earn X, Y, Z amount of money. I've got this beautiful red Ferrari car, whatever it is that you want. And then you assume you have those things. You assume that's who you are and you keep thinking in your favor. And if you find yourself dwelling on circumstances, you find yourself reacting to things in the three, don't beat yourself up about it, we all do it sometimes, just tell yourself, it doesn't matter, I always get what I want, I always get what I want, everything is unfolding perfectly for me, and then shift away from this, back to your bubble that you've set, and trust and have faith that you're going to get what you want, because like I said, it's already yours, it already exists, if it already exists, you can't not have it, the moment you assume that you are that which you wish to be, you are that which you wish to be, and you no longer wish to be it, because you already are it, and you just persist in being that you, go pick your bubble, that's everything you desire.